Hi there, welcome. My name is Elizabeth Mason and today we're going to talk a little bit about managing a wedding day timeline. The wedding day timeline is one of the most important pieces of paper that you'll carry with you on a wedding day. It's your go-to schedule and keeps everyone on the same page throughout the day. The bride, the groom, the wedding parties, and the wedding planner all rely on a timeline. My experience has been that I usually have a huge input into how the timeline is created, so it's really important for me to know that I can pad the timeline to be able to have some flexibility throughout the, uh, throughout the day in case things like really go off the rails. So let's dive in and break it down into some important points when, when you are preparing your timeline. First off, send the bride an email far in advance asking for a timeline. I find that, there, that three weeks is usually far enough in advance unless they're working with a planner and then she probably would have it sooner. This sets the expectation that you're looking for it and ensures that she knows just how important that it is. Number two, sometimes the brides are just so dang overwhelmed with all of their planning that it's really, really difficult for them to put together a timeline. In this case, ask if she can let you know the times of the ceremony and the reception and if she's planning a first look. With this information, you can offer to do up a tentative timeline and send it to her for her review. Number three, with a timeline in hand, review it for potential conflicts or bottlenecks and address those with the bride. This will set the expectations far in advance, uh, so just so if something comes up on the wedding day that it goes a little bit smoother. Number four, I strongly, strongly encourage a first look. If done far enough in advance prior to the ceremony, you can knock out the bride and groom portraits and some wedding party photos, and it leaves a buffer in case time's needed to be made up um, from something that happened earlier. Number five, before the wedding day, identify places that time can be made up if necessary. For example, if a bride takes longer than anticipated getting ready, or if the hair and makeup artists are running behind, or if there's a wardrobe malfunction that needs to be dealt with, then you have an idea of where you can trim some time to make up for it. Often, that time will come from the time that you thought you had to set up for the ceremony, but if there's a first look plan, then you can trim some time from there and do the wedding party photos after the ceremony. Finally, number six. There are cornerstones in the day that cannot be moved. Those are the ceremony start time and the reception start time. But as soon as the reception starts, the schedule goes however it goes. Um, because after that time, everybody's all in one place and things will just unfold naturally. So those are some things that I hope that when you're working with your bride, will, will, you will find helpful. And in the notes below this video, I included a link to a sample timeline that I send to all of my brides in their wedding uh, planning guides and it lays out a day which does include a first look. Feel free to download it, use it, and share it with your brides. So I hope this video helped you and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.